Harry is a unique individual, very funny, very loving, very kind-hearted person. I met my wife, Anna, online on a dating app. <laughs> and, and we, our first date was at a Chinese restaurant. When he came in, he was very tall, talking kind of funny. I wore my leather flyers jacket. And I was becoming clumsy. My tremor was becoming prohibitively intense. I was spilling every drink. He did about 90% of the talking. It was just rolling with run-on sentences. And I just sat there, like, almost shell-shocked, but still could very much see the difference between what the disease had done to him and who he was. We spoke for hours, and I ate her food, and she called me back for a second date. And so, and that, that was it. My name is Corey, and I have Wilson disease. Copper is an essential element that has very important roles in our normal health and development. And without it, we have deficiency and complications in poor neurologic development. When it's present in excess, however, then it can create injury to tissues and at the cellular level causes oxidative injury and that may lead to then dysfunction and eventually dysfunction in the organs themselves. I met him and he was quite symptomatic with his disease. Then I, I myself am a physician, so he said Wilson disease it was familiar, but not not overly so. In all patients that have Wilson disease, the copper begins to accumulate even after birth. For some individuals, the liver disease stays silent. If they're not treated, over time they'll go on to develop more severe changes in the liver, and then some will develop the uh, accumulation of copper in the central nervous system that can lead to neurologic signs. I met him toward the very end of his naval career, but he'd achieved instructor pilot status. On top of it, he graduated from the University of Virginia with an aerospace degree. It's certainly not an easy thing to do. Yeah, so he's very, very accomplished indeed. During my time as a naval aviator, I traveled the world, hunted submarines and search and rescue, various maritime missions and eventually uh, my brain damage became so severe that I was having trouble flying, I had to stop. Flying was everything to me. It was my career, sure, but it was, it was more than that. It was my, it was my whole identity. It was devastating. I, I, uh, when I, I stopped flying in, in 2018 and, it, and it, it was like I died. When you have such a highly functioning person like Corey, it is really, you know, extremely difficult when, you know, his love of his life, his passion was taken away from him. But it wasn't until late June 2018 that I had such a severe incident driving that the thought occurred to me that I might have a, a tumor, a brain tumor. And so I, I walked into a neurologist's office uh, at Naval Air Station in Pensacola without an appointment. And I said, uh, I think I need an MRI. Uh, I suspect I have something wrong with my brain. The results came back from radiology. He called me to his office. He said, you need to come over now. He sat me down and uh, he showed me my, my the images and said, I think you have Wilson disease. 
And I said, oh, great, what's that? Corey has had a difficult relationship with his naval career, and when he was diagnosed, he was very lost. It was apparent to everyone. Part of my the cognitive effects of, of the brain damage in Wilson disease is loss of impulse control and judgment. I became so self-destructive that I, I um, even attempted suicide uh, several times. Uh, obviously, I'm still here, so it didn't work. I medically retired from the Navy in March 2020. My identity was gone. And I guess it's been five years now and it, it still hurts. What you have to do is shine the light on the good things. You know, the parts of his health that are going well. He's gone back to school. He's been on the honor roll. Corey's studying Russian right now and it, it's a tremendously difficult language. I'm a native born speaker it is tremendously difficult for me. What an accomplishment that is uh, for him to do that. And you have to find, you know, the, the, those kind of journeys are, are forever journeys, but you have to start with small steps. Dr. Shilsky reviewed my medical notes. He noticed the, he discovered the note that the optometrist had made uh, in 2011 regarding the Kaiser Fleischer rings. And I've been his patient ever since. I'm very grateful to Dr. Shilsky for all the help he's given me. He doesn't tremor almost at all anymore. He still has some, but it's not nearly as devastating as it used to be. I've learned cognitive behavioral therapy tools. I've learned meditation. I've learned uh, uh, breathing exercises. The future is really bright. We're on the cusp of the initial trials right now in people of trying to cure Wilson disease using genetic therapy. Early when we were dating, I told Anna that my plan for after leaving the Navy was to return to my house in Pensacola, Florida. And, uh and to drink myself to death. Um, it's, it's, it's morbid, but that's, that's what it was. Um, and it's given me a whole new sense of purpose. You know, a whole new, she's helping to be, me to build a whole new identity. Being her husband, I feel very grounded and connected to life. And I, I, I can't, I can't describe what it means to me. I, I think we built a beautiful life for ourselves. You know, we've been married for, um, for going on four years now. We have three really awesome cats. We, ha we hope to have children in the future. We're figuring out exactly where we want to end up living forever. We've got travel plans. I mean, there is, the world is so vast. There's so much to see and do, and there's so much to discover. It, it's silly to not be positive. <laughs> <laughs>